Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be deciding if the two matrices over here are row equivalent. So what does it mean by row equivalent? It means if both matrices have the same Reduce row echelon form. So, in our previous video, we have already learned how to convert a matrix to a reduced row echelon form. So, let's try some exercises to see if the following matrices are row equivalent. Let's start off with this. So for this matrices, it's already in a echelon form because every row has a leading entry. It's like in a diagonal shape. So now this is your row 1. This is row 2. So now let's pivot upwards. So you want to eliminate the variable or the z variable in the third column. So what do we do? We add minus 1 over 3 times of row 2 add to row 1. So minus, let's pivot upwards, start from here. 0, 0, 3. So minus 1 over 3 times 3 equals to minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 will give me 0. The same goes for this. So minus 1 over 3 times 0 equals to 0. 0 plus 1 equals to 1. And the same for this, it will give me 1. So hence, the system is now in reduced echelon form. Why? Every row has a leading, for every row there has a leading entry of 1. You can see that, sorry, sorry, made my, my fault. So we have to convert this leading entry to 1. Therefore, we get 1, 0. We divide the row 2 by 3, hence, 1, 0, and then 3 divided by 3 equals to 1. This is our reduced echelon form y. For every leading entry, row that has a leading entry of 1, 1 is the only non-zero integer here, and the same goes for this and this. So now let's make it to reduce echelon form for this. Notice that row 1 has a 0 coefficient and row 2 has a 1 coefficient of x. So we swap row 1 with row 2. Hence you get 1, minus 1, 1, 0. zero. One, two. So now the leading now the leading entries are in ones already. We can start pivoting upwards. So this is your row one, row two. Hence, let's. So you want to eliminate the z variable in the first row. So we add minus half times of row two add to row one. Therefore, we get this is zero. 1, 2, minus half plus times 2 equals to minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 will give me 0. And for this, minus half times 1 equals to minus half. Minus half plus 1 equals to minus 3 over 2. And the same goes for this. So minus half times 0 equals to 0. 0 plus 1 equals to 1. And so now, you want to eliminate again the y variable in the second row because this is already set. This col row is set. This column is settled. Now we have to settle this column and to eliminate the y variable here. So therefore, we add three over two times of row two to row one. Therefore, pivot upwards again. Zero, one, two. So, 3 over 2 times 2 will give me 3. 
3 plus 0 equals to 0. 3 over 2 times 1 will give me 3 over 2. 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 will give me 0. 3 over 2 times 0 will give me 0. 0 plus 1 will give me 1. So we got our system in reduced rule echelon form. Because you can see 1 is the only non-zero integer here and 1 also here. And for here, it doesn't matter because 1, there's no 1. So we don't need to be concerned about this row. As you can compare here, you can see that their reduced echelon form is not the same. Therefore, not equal. Therefore, they are not row equivalent. So we have come to the end of this lesson. If you have any queries, you can drop me a comment and I will write your comment as soon as possible. Thanks so much.